Hi, everybody. Let's see. There. That works. Hi, everybody. Um, I want to talk today about the stress and anxiety that comes from being a sensitive or an empath. And I don't make much distinction between the two. We can talk about that another day. But we have a tendency as empaths and sensitives to pick up on the thoughts and feelings of other people. And it's, it's a great gift that you can do this, but it's also, hi Denise, it's a great gift that we have, but it's also, it can be a detriment. When you're at a point where it's causing you stress and anxiety, then it needs to be addressed. So you can pick up on the thoughts and feelings of other people. That's just part of being a sensitive. It's, it's a gift and a curse in a little bit of a way. But I want you, I want to teach you a technique that helps you be, have better boundaries, to be clear about your energy versus another. Um, in our Facebook group yesterday, a lovely new member was talking to me about how she picks up on other people's thoughts and feelings and that it can cause her a lot of stress. And intuitively, I got that when she's talking with someone or someone's telling her their problems or venting to her, she's an open vessel <laughs> and she, a part of her wants to help that person and help that person heal and understand their story. And then when the conversation's over, the empath or the sensitive holds on to it. They keep thinking about ways that they could help, keeps thinking about that person. And do you see how that can cause you some stress. So one technique I'm gonna teach you today is after you've had a conversation with somebody and you're gonna feel a little different if you're sensitive, right? Because you pick up on their, their thoughts, feelings, and emotions. I have a couple techniques that I do. Now, uh, one technique is I, when I'm having a conversation with someone, I give us colors. So for example, I'm green a lot of times. I always, not always, I give myself the color green and I say, I'm green. And then the person that I'm talking with, I give them a color. They're yellow, if that's the color that comes to me. Now I don't say this out loud. This is all going on in my head. But as I'm having the conversation and I can feel my energy is getting mixed with theirs too much, I'll assign myself a color. I'm green, they're yellow. I have the conversation, I'll feel I'm feeling into this conversation. I'm having this conversation with them. But what I'll do, at least when the conversation's over, I close my eyes and I send all the yellow back to them or whatever color I've assigned. I give them all the yellow back and I take all of my color back, all of my green back. Sometimes during the conversation, if I can feel it triggering me, I have to send the yellow back during the conversation. Does that make sense? So you can actually visualize or you can just set the intention. I give them all their color back. I get all my color back. That's one thing. Hi, ladies. Um, I want to give you one more technique. Let me see what the technique I'm supposed to give you today. Oh, here's the, here's the other one that I'd love to share with you. Uh, I may close my eyes to, to give this to you the best I can. I have to do this with clients a lot. So I see a lot of clients for stress, anxiety, um, they're intuitives and they're learning how to develop that skill. So when I have these people, my guides have told me when I open my door, I allow them in and I have an open heart and I give 110% like all sensitives do, I think. But when we leave and I close the door, I'm not allowed to think about them again. Sometimes when I'm laying in bed that night after I've had a client or two, I'll start to think about them and think about ways I could help them, think about things I could do for them, and I have to shut it down. And I go, there I go again. Let, let them have their story again. I have to give them their stuff back. Does that make sense? So as sensitives, we want to help and heal. It's just, it's just the way we're wired. And we have to learn how to create systems and techniques that keep our energy, our energy with us and theirs with them. If you can do that, if you can practice these techniques, I promise you, your anxiety and stress will go way down. I would love for you to try them. 
Let me see if anybody has a question. Oh, good. Can't wait to try it. Hi, Susan. Hi, Amy. Um, let's. We can talk about it more in the Facebook group. I wanted to keep this short and sweet today. Uh, thanks for everybody who showed up and then leave comments if you have any questions and we can continue the conversation. Okay, take care.